when Paul Joseph Twatson got banned off of Facebook? Well, I'm going to show you exactly why that is. Uh, this is absolute insanity. So, there's a massive irony in this. Obviously, we all know not only is Paul Joseph Twatson a Trump sycophant, but also that, you know, he's one of those people who says, like, oh, the mainstream media is fake news, you know. Their version of fake news is just like anything you don't like from the mainstream media is just fake news, uh, which is absolutely hilarious. But this is pretty insane, dude. So he posted this video to Twitter that has 444,000 views at this point in time. And it says it's captioned, Meanwhile, in London, dot, 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 dot. And it's a video of two, what seems to be black people, robbing, a, a robbing doing an armed robbery uh, against a white man. And so he says, meanwhile, in London. Now, of course, this is an attempt at some propaganda to make London look like this crazy hellhole that's been destroyed by brown people, brown, brown, brown's bad type of thing. And that's what they're trying to portray here. Um, but there were some people who were looked at it, they fact checked and like, wait, no, this isn't in London. This is in South Africa. So, and he actually puts a tweet below his. He says, update, some people are telling me this is from South Africa. London appears to be sharing some of the same problems with the crime they have. So, he lies. Guys, this video has 444,000 views on Twitter, okay? He lies saying that this event occurred in London when in reality it happened in South Africa. Okay, he lied about it does some weird comment below it, doesn't take it down and retract it. The dude made his own fake news. He took a video of something that happened in South Africa and says this happened in London. And if you look at the replies, well, there are some people who, uh, there are a few, a few, I would say, you know, looking at these responses, there are a few people saying it happened in South Africa, but there's still a lot of people who are like, oh, you know, uh, I don't know, I saw one saying, like, oh, they got culturally enriched or something like that as a meme. Uh, but this is spreading disinformation. This is the reason why Paul Joseph Twatson got banned off Facebook, and the reason why I wouldn't have a problem with him getting banned off Twitter or any other platform. There's a huge, massive, I repeat, massive problem with disinformation and misinformation on, you know, these social media platforms. This guy just outright makes his own fake news. He makes up his own fake news. Um, so you're talking about potentially tens of, and I think it is tens of thousands of people being misled by his bullshit, as it is here. Again, this video is 544k views, um, in which he claimed this is occurring in London when really it happened in South Africa. So it's not because right-wingers are under attack or something like this. This is a, a very lengthy trend that Paul Joseph Watson has been doing. I have a couple videos on this. In one of the previous uh, examples of this, he had claimed that in Spain there was a sign saying refugees welcome right after what happened. I believe it was the truck attack, uh, but it turns out that that picture was from like a year or two before. Uh, more fake news. He was also saying that somewhere in Norway or something that they on their national day on TV, they were showing making kebabs instead of like... And it was just, it was, it was factually incorrect and he made it up. This guy is a fake, someone commented on my video saying, Paul Dr. Tapes Watson, I think is what he said. I love that nickname. Paul Dr. Tapes Watson. Shout out to whoever made that, that nickname. It was absolutely hilarious. This guy is a fake news spreader. This post should be removed by Twitter right now because it's an outright lie. Like it's. There are rare situations in which you find something so blatantly objectively false that it's out in the open. So, you know, this is an example, right? You show a video of something happening in, happening in South Africa, but it's a fact, or in London, or sorry, that it's happening in South Africa, but you claim it's London, that's outright fake news. Seriously, that's what that is. You're lying. That'd be like saying Donald Trump was, uh, Donald Trump, uh, I don't know, I don't know, just <laughs> slapped President Barack Obama or something like that. Like, that's not true. It didn't happen. That's false. It's fake news. So the irony not only of, you know, him as a Trump supporter, but his whole shtick in general, this is the reason why he gets banned off Facebook, not because conservatives are under attack or something. It's because the guy spreads fake news. He's a liar. He's a fraud. He's a joke.
He's the real fake news.